everybody, I am Dylan Lasagna, and welcome to part two of Dylan Lasagna's one year sewage anniversary. And if you missed part one, that'll be in the description below or in the little card right there, wherever you see it. Um, but today, we're going to be talking about what's on my Nintendo Switch, what games do I have, physical and digital, what accessories do I have for the Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to give a shout out to everyone, every YouTuber that has helped me, well, not like, like direct message me in any way, but like, I, like that I watched and they helped me in some way, <laughs> I guess, in helping me get in a Nintendo Switch one year ago. So, without any further ado, let's get right into this video. So, I'm not going to do this in any particular order, but um, we'll start off with whatever's in my vicinity. Um, but what you'll need first, obviously, before you can get anything, is a Nintendo Switch. Um, whether that's the gray com all gray combo or the um, blue and red combo. Or is it red and blue and red? I don't know. Uh, the blue and red Joy-Con combo. But you'll need a Nintendo Switch first. Then, you're going to need some games. But more on the games later. Because what comes with the Nintendo Switch is one dock, one dock set. The HDMI, blah, the HDMI cable, which is in the back of my TV, but I'm too lazy to take it out. Alongside, the other thing that I'm too lazy to take out is the AC adapter. Which you might need to charge your Switch in case you don't have a power bank or a cable that you will need later. But you also get this Joy-Con charging, or this Joy-Con, not the Joy-Con charging grip, this Joy-Con grip that you can use as a controller. Ooh. But now, let's get on to, on with what exactly is on my Nintendo Switch. So now that you have your Nintendo Switch, um, you're going to need some games, right? You've got to get some games. So, I'm going to start with my game collection in the order that I got them. You're going to need... Your, the game that you're first going to get is going to depend on your needs. But, if you want a local multiplayer game that you want to play at a party or with your friends, or, heck, you want to even play online, get this game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's the game that I have right now. That's the first game I got. Or, if you want a Mario game that is like a sequel, a technical sequel to Galaxy, I guess, Super Mario Odyssey. It, it's gonna hold you over for so long. For like a long time. And I can't recommend this game enough. It's so fun. You're gonna have a lot of time throwing your hat around, looking for stuff. It, there's going to be a lot of stuff to look for, so much secrets, and you're going to have a blast with this game. Um, I'm, this is currently my physical collection because I'm mostly a physical gamer. Uh, there's obviously uh, digital games that I have. But moving on, um, Snipper Clips Plus, um, cut it out together. Um, this is a fun little um, multiplayer game. Um, I just wish I could play it with my, fam with my family and relatives a little bit more. Um, but it just gets buried a little bit. <laughs> uh, Snipper Clips Plus. It's a fun. It's a fun multiplayer game. It's like it came out at launch as well. Then Rocket League, the Rocket League Collector's Edition. Um, I decided to hold out on the physical version of Rocket League because um, I didn't want it to eat up space on my uh, Switch for if I got it digitally. But um, this is a fun game. I really like Rocket League. Um, I didn't play Rocket League when it was on the PS4, but this is really fun to play, especially online, uh, even though it gets really intense in, in that area. But nonetheless, this is a game if you want to play Rocket League, even if you played it before or not, um, this is a good game on the go. Then, the Holy Grail for the Nintendo Switch, but honestly, um, it's... Depends on your like your needs and if you really want this. Um, whether or not you're a Zelda fan doesn't matter. And that is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, honestly, it's a, it was a little hard for me to get into because um, I wasn't a Zelda fan. And it's a big open world game like Skyrim. But 
it's it might take a little while for you to get into because um, you might have to play some games in between because it's just a su such a diverse game. But it's still a great it's still a good game nonetheless to pick up. So that's the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Next up is a fun hack and slash game that's kind of reminiscent of Devil May Cry, but with guns. Bayonetta, Bay the Bayonetta 2 collection. I did a, a little unboxing of this game um, back in February. It's so fun. Um, I preferred the second uh, Bayonetta over the first one because of how much simpler it is. Um, you get a well, for this particular game, you get a download code of the first Bayonetta. Um, I'm not showing you any of that because I already used it. <laughs> but this is a fun, um, fun game. If you, whether or not you picked up Bayonetta already. If you didn't, then it'll be a good, it'll be a good time, uh, killing some demons or attacking some demons. But if you have picked it, picked it up and played it on the Wii U, um, it's, it's just pick, just play it again. It's it's worth it. And then my most unexpected fun game of the Nintendo Switch so far, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Um, sure, this is a turn-based RPG like uh, South Park Stick of Truth, but Ubisoft man. I, I can understand why this was so, like, unexpectedly, um, well, I don't know if I can say praised, but it was just, like, so well-received by many, by, by so many reviews. It's just fun. It's really fun to play. And the Donkey Kong um, expansion came out, and I'm, I'm just, like, I'm blown away by how good, the, not just the story is, even though how um, wacky the rabbits are, but it's just like there's so much unpredictability in this uh, this game. So definitely pick up Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. It often goes on sale, so take advantage of it. So it, it's a really good game. And pick up when you finish the story. Pick up the Donkey Kong um, DLC. I definitely need to do that sometime. Um, and then I have this game for some reason, Just Dance, um, 2018. Um, I have it because why not? I I need an exit. I need I need to do some exercise. <laughs> um, I, I, this game's kind of useless because um, you need you need to have Just Dance Unlimited, but I have the trial right now, so my trial's about to run out. Um, there's not the song list is not that great, but hey, at least you get an exercise. And then last but not least, this is the most recent game that I picked up physically: Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2, man. Um, I did a discussion about this, and I was blown away by how good this game is. This this is the only multiplayer game, like the online multiplayer game that I really like, I, that I actually like, because um, go watch my full Splatoon 2 discussion. There will be a card in, somewhere in the corner, but I, I love this game, man. I, I really do. It's not too late if you didn't get Splatoon 2, um, but... It'll blow you away. Um, campaign is alright, but multiplayer, you'll just have a blast. You will have a blast, guaranteed. The Octo Expansion just came out. The DLC for Splatoon 2 came out. Um, I, I didn't pick it up yet, but I will eventually. Just like the Donkey Kong DLC. Um, in regards to physical games, um, let me start from the list here. Fortnite. We got Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch. And then... We got Jackbox right there, Jackbox 3. I'm planning to pick up Jackbox 2 and the, the rest of the Jackbox series. And Arcade Archives, Super Mario Bros. And then Octodad. Yeah, we have Octodad for some reason. And then for and then we tried out Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. But yeah, that's all the games I have for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, what do you guys think of my collection? <laughs> um... Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you have for your Nintendo Switch collection. But yeah, that's a, that's all my Nintendo Switch. And let me show you a little bit of accessories that I have for the Switch. So, you need, like, well, I don't know if you'll actually need some of these accessories, but these are some of the essentials in my opinion. Um, if you really want to have, like, more, like, multi multiplayer, especially if it's not just more than just the two of you, if it's, like, a group of four or more than that, you'll need an extra pair of Joy Cons. That, that I got this for Christmas, and I've been have I've been able to um, have four player Mario Kart games. And Smash is coming out soon, so we'll be able to have four player Smash. And more on like having eight player Smash in a second because 
the most recent controller pickup that I got is the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller, man, I think this is a better like grip than the PlayStation 4 because it feels um it just feels like good. It feels good in your hands. Uh, the triggers are are kind of kind of firm, but it, it's locked in. The trigger the triggers are really um the triggers are really solid and and the buttons just feel right at home. And then of course you what comes with the extra pair of Joy Cons is another Joy Con strap. And I think that the Joy Con colors are really cool uh, compared to the base um, blue and red. But anyway, if you're looking for protection, um, you might want to invest in this. Um, I know it's not much protection, but at least it helps. The Nyko, um, the Nyko thin case, um, unlike other cases, it, although it doesn't offer much protection, it docks. It it docks in your switch. Um, there, there's a clear case coming out. There's a solid. There's a solid uh, slate coming out, and I'm picking. I, I plan to pick up the clear one because I I want to get rid of this color scheme. <laughs> but um, at least this case um, fits in your switch, like in the dock, unlike other cases. But I'd say the only con about this is taking taking it off, like off the Joy Cons. But other than that, I will, I like it, and I, I hope you decide to pick up if you get a switch. Now on to cases because I feel like that's the most important thing. Oh wait, hold on. Storage. Let's talk about storage a little bit because um, that's what I should. Uh, did I drop my SD card? Oh, I thought I did. <laughs> okay, SD card. Since I was talking about that, you need an SD card. Um, I don't want to take it out, but it's a. SanDisk 128 gigabyte card. Um, it's not. It's the old version, but you want you want to invest in an SD card because not all your games. If even if you're a physical gamer like myself, it's not gonna fit on the Switch. So it, it, it it'll hold you over in the long run, honestly. So 128 gigs will do you good. Now let's talk about cases. Um, this is my first Nintendo Switch case. And it's from RDS Industries, and here it is. Um, it's a rock solid case, and it give it comes with four, it comes with a game card holder that holds up to eight games, and I think it also comes with a micro SD card holder. But I don't I don't have any more room for that, and why would I need to hold extra SD cards unless if it's smaller than 128 gigs? In here is oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. The, the Pro Controller comes with a USB-C uh, charging cable. So, if you have a power bank, which by the way, um, I'm using to charge my camera right now, is a RAV Power um, 20,000 20, watt, I think. Yeah, 20,100 milli, milliamp watt charging bank. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, like... But the only concern I would have is, um, did Nintendo fix their, um, breaking issues? So just be wary of, um, using power banks and with, like, third-party cables, but I think the USB-C cable that comes with the Pro, control Pro Controller should be fine. Now, um, while this is a sturdy, uh, case for the Nintendo Switch, it'll hold you over very well. It's kind of too obvious, um, in my opinion. It, I'm getting a little concerned carrying this thing around because of, well, hello, the Nintendo Switch is right there for people to seal it, and it's right here too. So, I decided over the weekend to pick up a few new accessories for the Switch. So, let's get that into that right now. Since we're talking about accessories and games here on the, in this two-part video, we're, we're going to be unboxing some accessories for the Switch. And the first one is this Super Mario Pow! Uh, premium game card case. So, if you're looking for extra storage for like your Switch games, like the one I showed you, that one was okay. But I was looking up reviews for this. This game or this game card holder comfortably holds your games, and you can take it. You can easily take it out. But my only concern is how well does it fit in your case. So, we're gonna open this up first. And we're going to see how big it is, because I'm, I'm not sure how big it was in the picture. So, let's take a look. 
Ow, the plastic. Let me use the scissors. Okay, here, here it is. I wanted to get the Mario one, like the, the M, but they didn't have it in stock on Amazon. So here is the power block, so don't worry, it won't crush you, by the way. So, it's actually, it's it's not as big as the picture sees it, it makes it, but here it is, um, here's the la there's a latch you have to open, so be careful with that. Oh, okay, that's a warranty. Oh, wow, this is pretty smooth. Um, it's kind of flimsy though, so be careful with that. So, here it is. Here's the, uh, here's the PAL Switch game card holder. Let me see a few games from in here. Let me, by the way, show you how small these game cards are. Um, they're not the size of the 3DS, but I think they're much smaller. So, there it is. That's how small it is. Focus. So let me put in one game, for example. Let's put in Bayonetta 2 that I just showed you. Oh, wow. This fits in very smoothly. Oh, wow. <laughs> it fits in so snug. And I can take it out, like, just like that. Compared to um, this, I have to, like, fling it open. So I'm definitely going to put this in the, my case that I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to finish um, putting all my games in here. But I'm probably going to have to invest in an extra one of this, though. But for now, man, I, I, I love it already. It looks cool and ease of access. So this thing, pow, it, it's cool. I really like it. Now, on to my new carrying case. Let me give a shout-out right here. Duck Hunter 44. I'm going to give a shout-out to you, man. This case was a big recommendation by, by not just you, but by other YouTubers. Um... This case not only holds a lot of accessories, but it holds even credit cards and money. And even has a game called holder, but I already have that in the PAL case. And it securely holds your Switch. But my only concern was, would it hold um, the Nyko thin case? So this is by Satisfy. Duck Hunter even got a, got a review copy or something. But I, I really give a shout out to him, even though he didn't recommend it to me, but he recommended it to his audience. But, um, I went out and purchased this. So, we're going to unbox it right here, since we're talking about accessories. So, we are going to open this up. Oh! oh, wow. Big. Bulky. Let me compare it to, um, oh wait, let me open the plastic first. Uh, I hate that noise. Ooh. Rock solid like the other one. Um, let me compare, and does it feel like burnt as, as the as the RDS one? So it's kind of bigger, or well, it's wider. The Switch uh, RDS one is wider, but um, this one, the Satisfy one, is uh, I don't know if it's wider or like like bigger, like bigger in height. I, I don't know how how dimensions work, but anyway, um, I do like the handle and. The fact that it's less obvious than the RDS one is. But, um, let's see how this thing is. So, here we go. See how much stuff I can fit in. Oh, wow. Uh, let me see what I can fit in here. So, here's the mesh pocket that you can put all your stuff in here, like an extra Joy-Con and all that stuff. Oh, I can fit this in easily. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, Man, this is cool. I can fit it. I can, I knew it. I can fit this in here. Um, let me see. What else I can fit in here? Um, can I fit this in here? Oh, uh, I'm not going to fit it in here, though. So, so. Darn it. Maybe. Well, I, I thought I was going to fit my power bank in there, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Off, off screen. But, um, so, we got a thank you letter from Satisfy. Um, yeah, we got a thank you letter from Satisfy. Thank you very much for making purchases. Um, let me see how it is. This is the updated version, by the way, so it fits in case, most cases now. Uh, let me see how this works. So it's supposed to fit like this. Um, I'll try it on with the case off screen. Okay, so this is how it is with the switch. And to pull it out, you go like that. You pull this thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me try it with 
the Nyko Dock. Or the Nyko, not the Nyko Dock. God, no. <laughs> uh, let me try it with the Nyko Thin, thin Case. Advisory for the Nyko Thin Case, make sure the thing snaps. The 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 thin case like is secure the whole way. People complain about this too much. They don't they don't secure it correctly. So make sure your thin case is in is you hear that snapping accordingly. Okay, so we got our thin case back on. Now let's see if it fits. Okay, it's it's fin it fits pretty fine. Okay, so here it is. It's it fits pretty fine to me. Um, it's a little snug. It's a little tight. Um, let me try pulling it out. So I think it's pretty fine. It's 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 okay to secure the switch in here with the thin, the Nyko thin case. Um, just be careful with it. I, I, I would say they, I like how they updated it just to fit the like cases now. So that's pretty cool to see. So I I really like this case so far. Um, by by satisfy um, so to all the YouTubers and Duck Hunter Forty Four for for putting out this video and recommending it to everyone that's um, buying a Switch and um, thinking about buying a Switch and I would recommend this as well. So last accessory that I have for each and every one of you is this. If you're traveling with your system, um, you need this and. Because in case you don't want to lug your accessories lug jumping around. Yes, it's another RDS case and most obvious, but the, hey, at least it's not cheap. I mean, it's quality. <laughs> How do you say it? The RDS uh, Deluxe System Traveler case. Um, I, I thought this was pretty cool, but I heard some complaints about the handle, but I just you just gotta be I just gotta be careful with it. So without any further ado. We're going to open this up right now and see how it actually is. Open the plastic. Oh god, it does smell like burnt. It does smell like burnt cookies. Okay, so... So it gives me the same, uh, like, game cards that, um, the, the deluxe, uh, game traveler case comes with. Um, but I'm not going to be using it because, well, I, yeah, I'm not going to really be really using it because I have the, uh, the POW case now, but, um, I need to open this now. Open! Here is the, oh, you gotta be careful with this handle, seriously. The Game Traveler Deluxe System. It comes with a mesh pocket, um, you got game card, like I said, and micro SD card game case. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me cut this open. Ooh. Um, the only thing I hate about it is just like so obvious that someone can steal it. But man, that smells really getting to me. Ooh. And there's the inside. Um, this is a must have, like not really a must have right away, but um, you should get it in case you don't want to be like having your switch accessories like jump around. Not the song, by the way. And here's the um, same game cards that come with your uh, RDS uh, tra traveler case right here. And a mesh pocket. Um, but we're not going to mess with that right now. We'll mess with it off screen. Um, so to get an idea of what exactly you need to put in here. Um, well first, you put in the dock. Um, let me get my switch out of the um, satisfy case. Pull! And here you put the switch. Oh man. Oh shit, does, this, does the Nyko dock not fit in here? Oh. Okay, it does, it does. It's just got, you gotta make some wiggle room. Okay, then you could fit a pro controller. Uh, how do you do this, man? And then, I guess you could fit two extra Joy-Cons in here. And your mesh pocket, which would be the cords and stuff. So that would be your your travel case. So what I got in here is 
would be my cords, my Pro Controller, my extra Joy-Cons, the dock, and the Switch itself. Or maybe something else because I'll probably have my Switch in the Satisfy case. So you close it, and there you go. That's your Switch. But yeah, that's pretty much my Nintendo Switch, what's on it, what's in my Nintendo Switch, and the accessories that I have with it, in case you don't know what it is. It's uh, this RDS Industries case, but I'm not using that any longer. It's going to be this Satisfy case that was um, that I watched a YouTube video on from Duck Hunter 44 shout out by the way, and this PAL block inside, and a uh, RAF power, um, power bank that I got for Christmas. I think you saw that in an unboxing video, and this uh, RDS Industries Nintendo Switch travel case, which is actually kind of bigger in the picture. Bigger than the picture, by the way. Oh, and actually, if you see in the background, um, right here, is a Pro Controller and Joy-Con charging dock, the Mario edition, which I thought was pretty cool, but at the same time, it's very convenient for for two, two and one. Now, I want to do a special shout out for everyone that helped me in some way. <laughs> helped me buy a Switch. Um, let me pull it up here, because I have a list. Um, let me first start off with the obvious one that I've been mentioning in this video, Duck Hunter 44, um, with all of his Switch reviews, and then Spawn Wave with um, his Switch news along with other news and his Spawn Cast that I watch every every Saturday, RGT85 with hit with his news as well, and like Switch reviews, heck, even beat 'em ups. Yeah, they're all similar, but it, it it's his like, is it worth it? kind of reviews that I used to watch, but I don't watch it as much anymore. But from time to time, I I go check it out. Arlo, um, I thought he's, I think he's a pretty cool YouTuber when it comes to Nintendo stuff. Um, like his reviews and his thoughts and discussions on Nintendo Switch stuff, it helped me, also helped me convince myself to get a Switch and back, back in July last year. And I think that's everybody, so the people, the channels, and people that helped me, like, not, not like, directly, like, DM'd me, but, um, the, through their videos of, um, is the Nintendo Switch worth it? Are these games worth it? Uh, you need these accessories and all that stuff. So, Spawn Wave, RGT85, um, Beat em Ups even, uh, Arlo, and Duck Hunter 44. Those are those top five in, on my Nintendo Switch, uh, channels that you you should check out that I would recommend for like games and accessories for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this part two of the Del Lasagna Nintendo Switch Anniversary. Uh, part three will be a buying guide for what you need to get for the Nintendo Switch in case you just got it, but stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links will be in the description below. If you missed part one, of this Dylan Lasagna Nintendo Switch Anniversary. That will be in the link in the description alongside a little card that I might have in wherever the corner is and the channels that I did a shout out to. And always be delicious. And I'll see you all in the next video. And I'm out.